Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the beneficial impacts of prokaryotes on humans. As you are aware that prokaryotes are very vital in order to maintain this ecosystem. Bioremediation is very important when we talk about the positive impacts of these prokaryotes on humans. Prokaryotes can help in the process of bioremediation. Now, what is bioremediation? Bioremediation is actually use of the organisms to remove pollutants from the environment. Prokaryotes are actively being used in order to remove pollutants from many places, and these prokaryotes, they are acting as a very important assets of humans. They not only clear those pollutants, but they are very cost effective as well. Now, bacteria are being engineered to produce different vitamins, hormones, and other important human products. For example, we talk about the example of insulin. Insulin is very important for diabetic patients. In order to produce insulin, the prokaryotes, bacteria, they are being engineered. Human insulin gene is being introduced into those bacteria, and that bacteria helps in the production of insulin, human insulin, in large quantity in a very small time period. Similarly, many organisms, these prokaryotic organisms, they are helping in the production of antibiotics. Now, antibiotics are actually the natural compounds which are present in prokaryotes. It helps them to kill other organisms in order to fight for the resources. Now, most of these antibiotics which are being used by humans in order to combat other pathogenic bacteria, these are obtained from prokaryotic groups. Three of them, they are major groups. Out of these three, two are prokaryotes. For example, gram-positive soil bacteria actinomycetes, they help in the production of various antibiotics. Then we have gram-positive bacteria of genus Bacillus. They also produce different types of antibiotics for humans. Then we have fungi, different kinds of molds. Fungi, they also help us to produce antibiotics. Now, fermentation is another important process in which prokaryotes, they are helping the humans. Now, many foods and beverages, they are being fermented with the help of prokaryotes. For example, lactic acid bacteria, they are used to produce acidophilus milk, yogurt, pickles, and different types of olives. Several types of bacteria are used in the production of cheese with the, uh, in, in these metabolic processes. Now, bacteria are also involved in producing vinegar, soya sauce, chocolate, and B vitamins, specifically vitamin B12 and riboflavins. Bacteria are also being engineered to produce ethanol from agriculture and municipal waste biomass, switchgrass, and corn. These are very effective and very useful prokaryotes which convert these waste into ethanol. Bacteria are also being experimented to be used to make natural degradable plastics.